This video is going to look at how the compiler either narrows a type when it's passed as a parameter if it's not the right type, or promotes it to make it the right type. So we're going to take a look at a couple of examples. There's the power function that we saw previously, which takes two integers. And I've created a new function called a fraction, which is going to take a double and it's going to strip off the whole part and return just the fraction. So in order to do this, it's going to declare an int whole, assign it the value of d1, and that will strip or simply chop off the fraction. And then it's going to return the double minus the whole number, which will simply be the fraction. Now, I'm going to call both of these, and I'm going to say the power equals power 2.5, 3.1. And this will actually work. Then I'm going to say the fraction, and I'm going to pass it in int. So what you want to notice is that I'm passing two doubles to parameters which want ints, and I'm passing an int to a parameter which really wants a double. So what the compiler will do, it realizes these are not the right types, so it will either narrow the type to turn the doubles into ints, or it will take the int and promote it to be a double so that the types match. Now let's watch this work. Okay, so it says the power is 8 because I said 2.5 to the power 3.1, which is really stripped down to 2 to the power 3, which is 8. And then the fraction is 0 because it promoted the 5 to be a 5.0. Okay. Now the interesting thing is to take a look at what happens when we compile these. When we compile these, you get two warnings. And the first one says that there's a warning conversion from double to int, possible loss of data. And then there's another one. And if you click on the lines, it's all about here. So this is it generating a warning. And the warning is that. I'm throwing away the fraction, and this is actually losing information, so you, as a programmer, should be aware of it. Now, it never mentions the fact that the 5 gets promoted, because really all you're doing is adding a 0 0.0 to it, and you're really not changing the information there at all. So there's no loss of information, so it doesn't think it has to warn you about this. Now, when you move on to matrix, you want to get a clean compile. And to get rid of these warnings, you manually do a cast. So if I say, I'm going to cast that to int, and I'm going to cast this to int, and then if I recompile by doing a build again, I see the warnings are gone, and I get a nice clean compile. So that's how you can get a clean compile. And then, just to look at it again, it hasn't changed anything. We get exactly the same results that we did before. So there you have it, how the compiler handles parameters which are of different numeric types and how it either narrows them down or promotes them so that they match the type inside the parameter list for the function being called.